Hey out there Akronites, welcome once again to Around Akron with Blue Green. And this episode is all about jazz music, like the jazz music that once flourished along this street right here, Howard Street. We're gonna head up to Blue Jazz and we're gonna sit down with Tony Tropy and talk all about what blue actually means. No, not this blue, but B-L-U blue. We're gonna visit the Market Street Historic District and talk about the future of Blue Plate and the Blue Teak Hotel, which is very reminiscent of what was once here on Howard Street. I'm gonna sit down with Ace Boogie and talk about his new album, The Opposite of What's Hot Now. Now to kick this show off all about jazz, we're gonna learn all about jazz here on Howard Street. At one time, there were over 70 bars up and down this street playing jazz music all night long. Let's go dive into this jazz thing and see what it's all about. Below the All-American Bridge, also known as the Y Bridge, was once a glacial lake that stretched as far as the eye could see up through what is now the valley. And in the far distance was a large glacier covering what is now Cleveland. Over thousands of years, those glaciers melted, and that valley became inhabited by many tribes of Native Americans. The land was fertile, had plenty of water, and had an abundant source of wildlife. Later on, that rich source of water was used in the canal system, and in the hills of what is now Akron, there were plenty of canal ways needed to get to the top of that hill. Little stores sprung up all along the canal system, like the Mustel store. And while waiting for the canals, people had time to kill. And when they had time to kill, they had music to play. And when music plays, people gather. And when people gather, civilization happens. And when the city of Akron formed, people needed music. And when they needed music, they went to Howard Street. At one time, there were 72 bars that lined Howard Street from downtown all the way up into North Hill. Along with those bars were grocery stores, barber shops, laundromats, and just about anything you needed could be found on Howard Street as well as hotels, like the Matthews Hotel. During the heyday of jazz music, Akron was a stopover between New York and Chicago. And if you had a big band, it was a lot cheaper to keep them at Akron as opposed to New York or in Chicago. So if musicians like Ella Fitzgerald, Charlie Parker, Count Basie, or Louis Armstrong played in New York, they would send their band members to Akron before they went to Chicago to play the next gig. While staying at the Matthews Hotel in Akron, they could find a place to get their hair cut, get their laundry done, get some food, but eventually they would head out to those 72 bars and hook up with musicians from bands all over the nation and all over the world for that matter. And not only did the band members play, but the best of the best jazz musicians of all time played on Howard Street. And their spirit still lives on today. And magic was created on Howard Street. Every weekend and weekdays, you would have music coming out of those locations. Special combinations and jams of great musicians that only happened one time, never recorded, and lost to history. To many of those that live in Akron, have memories of Howard Street, and we'll talk about the unmentionable activity that goes on on Howard Street. Well, there's always an underbelly, but much more happened on Howard Street. Magic happened on Howard Street. Entertainment happened on Howard Street. Music happened on Howard Street. And jazz music happened on Howard Street. 
on the weekends, jazz music can be heard blaring out of every one of these locations up and down Howard Street. Cars were parked two and three deep, and lines formed at the doors just to get in to see this magical one-time combinations of jazz magical music happening on Howard Street. It was home to some of the finest locations in Akron and was right next to some of the poorest neighborhoods in Akron as well. It was truly a mixture of culture and music. Howard Street survived the smallpox scare, the riots of 1900, and the Great Flood of 1913, only to be demolished in the name of urban renewal. Now, Howard Street is lost to memories. Lost to old pictures, Howard Street is a memory. It's a memory that lives on in the north side of Akron, at Jilly's Music Room, at Blue Jazz, during the Akron Blues and Jazz Festival, at Lock 3, and at Lock 4. Jazz music is alive and well, and so is the spirit and memory of Howard Street. The story of Howard Street is the story of Akron. It's the story of great successes and the story of great losses. It's the story of rebuilding. It's the story of rebirth. It's the story of the future of Akron and the future of jazz, which is alive and well here in Akron, Ohio. It's all about the location and Akron as well as the valley, is a magical place. And since the dawn of time, it has been a place of wonder and amazement. The perfect place for creativity, culture, and yes, jazz music on Howard Street. Now that we know a little bit about the rich history of jazz music here in Akron, Ohio, let's go to Blue Jazz. Now, Blue Jazz was ranked one of the 100 top jazz clubs in the nation by Downbeat Magazine. Now, Downbeat Magazine is basically the rolling stone of jazz music. Let's go talk to Tony Tropy and see what this Blue Jazz place is all about. Well, the jazz has been a rich story in this community for so many years. It was. Uh, it was a thematic driver for um, the establishments that um, were really the underlying celebration of the arts. Uh, it really uh, would have started probably back in the, um, the mid-90s when um, I took a look around and I realized that our city was gone and it was time to rebuild it. And the way that it was going to be best rebuilt was to reflect upon what had made this town interesting and great and uh, to celebrate that American art form of jazz was, uh, was on my mind as I walked around and studied the plywood and graffiti on these buildings and tried to come up with a plan about what would it take to reinvigorate this great place. The basement was actually uh, dating back to the uh, 1800s. Uh, when Boatsum um, Seed Shop was here. Um, it eventually emerged, emerged upstairs into the Detlings Florists. Um, but downstairs was uh, primarily a, uh, a place to store grain, to store seed. Um, it had an elevator, a dumbwaiter that would take the, the bags and bushels, baskets to a dirt floor. Um, the, the sandstone walls that were the original foundations from the 1870s, um, they were all covered over. All the interesting riveted steel was all covered over. So um, it took a little bit of selective demolition to, to really see the, the assets that were in place in that lower level. Uh, but once the, uh, the, the, the masks of uh, yesteryear started to be peeled away, there was a rich patina there that, that spoke to what could be based on what had been prior. Um, so that model of change was really the, the impetus for this place feels like it can create a new sound. Well, blue is uh, more than a color. 
Blue is an acronym. B-L-U is simply right below you. And that's what we do. We take things down a notch. So we get right down in that special groove known as jazz. We celebrate the classics. We celebrate the standards. We reflect on the rich legacy of artists that have made this a resounding ongoing story about American history. We celebrate all of those many features and we celebrate the greats who have brought that idea to life. But we weave in that improvisational form at the same time that, that makes that great music relevant and remaining on the forefront of improvisation. It, it remains the, uh, the opportunity for the artist to interpret and bring their own joy to the journey. So it's, um, it's an exciting opportunity for people to get together to hear a passion played out that's rooted in a great tradition. We, we have that experience on a regular basis. We have the best and the brightest coming through this area and folks are referring to this great place as Jazz Central on their way to New York and Chicago. But that's just really a reflection and a repeating of history as we look back to what made this town really roll. Well, we like to take things up a notch here at the Blue Plate, and it's really our front door to Blue Jazz. So just recently, we have um, embraced Market Street, uh, where we used to be just simply a speakeasy, now we're a findeasy. So I encourage you to come up to Akron, come up to Main and Market. We're right here on High Street between Main Street. You can't miss the front door to this great city of the future and to this great new happening that combines food, drink, and friends all under the umbrella of a great happening that celebrates jazz. So if you're not a jazz lover yet, you will be a lover of the great food that we're offering here that comes from the low country and it's got the spice and the zing and the palate flavorings that's gonna keep you coming back. So come see me and come see our friends, but most importantly, come hear the music and taste the difference at the Blue Zone. Well, I just wanna um, express my gratitude because um, what I've felt is a great embracing of not only the place, but the people that are behind the art scene here, the people that are bringing it on a regular basis, from our sound engineer, to our chef, to our great management, to our staff, and to the performers. Folks just love what's happening, and I'm, I'm confident that you will too, and that I'm very thankful for. So come on up to Blue. Now that jazz has virtually gone on Howard Street, places like Blue Jazz and the North Side are bringing jazz back to Akron, Ohio. Now once on Howard Street stood the Matthews Hotel where the greatest of the greatest actually stayed. And this building behind me here, the United Buildings, gonna be the Blue Teak Hotel of the future, along with Blue Plate right up the road here. This is now the Blue Zone and it's all about jazz music. Let's go see what this is all about. The blue brand, if you will, expands in this blue zone from the blue jazz up to blue plate to across the street to the Blue Teak Hotel. Blue's more than a color. Blue is an attitude. Well, blue's more than a color. Blue is an attitude. It's an attitude of gratitude. And what I'm really thankful for when I come to Maine and Market is a celebration of great history in place. But we celebrate the history as we reflect and, and really enjoy the celebration of the arts. As we invite our friends to come for music, to come for a great meal, there's another piece of hospitality that had been missing in downtown Akron, which was a great place to stay. We invite artists in from around the country and folks are following them from many different regions. 
and it's a great idea that we can now roll out the blue carpet in this blue zone so that our friends got a place to stay. We want people to come for the music and stay for the night. So right across the street at Akron's number one location, 1 South Main Street, we're actually taking the old United building, which had been a great office building built for the United Cigar Store Company, and turning it not into a boutique hotel, but a blue-teak hotel. There we'll have 65 rooms that are built around the, the reflection of mid-century modern treatment or the jazz age with its interesting interiors and features, but the actual accoutrement, if you will, will be taken up a notch so that it's really gonna be an exceptional, exceptional hospitality experience. Well, the, the template for our great new hotel experience at the Blue Teak Hotel um, has a, an opportunity to build on that success. So what starts as a 65 room independently operated and managed facility um, has the great potential to expand in place. Um, there's some adjacent property that we are planning to expand that footprint. So as the market embraces, as the reputation spreads nationwide about what an experience we're having here, there's room to grow that, uh, that great building over there from 65 rooms up to about 150. Why do we have such confidence in this hospitality experience? Because we are celebrating the arts a lot like uh, the great hotel chain 21C. Started in Louisville, expanded to Cincinnati. There are six or seven now great hotels that are built around a museum quality celebration of the arts. We're borrowing art. We're, we're, we're uh, taking art collections from our adjacent uh, neighbor, the, uh, the, the uh, Akron Art Museum, and we're putting it on display and we're providing another venue for folks to come and enjoy this great mid-century modern tradition by which the, the art museum has a great collection. So we'll be expanding our footprint and it'll be expanding to other markets that are looking for an experience that's rooted around this celebration of the arts. The historic arts district is just that. It's, it's a collection of great buildings that were built between 1871 and the mid-20s. Great different architectural styles from Beaux-Arts to high Venetian Victorian Gothic to Italian Renaissance to the beautiful United Building where the Blue Teak Hotel will be in neoclassic revival. So it's truly a historic arts district from an architectural standpoint but because we're right across the street from the art museum, which in and of itself is a classic example of taking a historic Italian Renaissance building, inviting in the best and the brightest to celebrate their new architectural form, ultra modern, Cupimo Blau from uh, Vienna, uh, they actually make Akron a city international. <laughs> I see things through blue glasses and um, I'm realizing that the celebration of the arts is very effective at building a community-based arts happening. It's inclusive. It brings in all ages, all races, all flavors, and it brings in folks who are pursuing the arts. They're either artists or they're art lovers or they're aspiring artists. And I really think that jazz has become one of those common denominators that's bringing all cool people to a cool place. Now to wrap this show up today, we're gonna go talk to Ace Boogie. Talk about his new album that's coming out. That's right, it's a vinyl release only. And it's called The Opposite of What's Hot Now. Now this is what I like to think of as maybe the future of jazz, maybe the future of hip hop. It's a fusion of jazz and hip hop. Let's go talk to Ace and see what this is all about. What, what is jazz? I was, if you look in a dictionary or something, you're trying to find out what is jazz. It's no definition of real jazz. They're talking about the time period, American jazz period. But then you ask jazz artists, what's jazz? 
they won't even, t they can't tell you. It's like, what's something somebody else named it? So, so if you have a, a drummer, right? A keyboard player, a trumpet player, sax player, guitar player, that's like jazz, right? Well, what happened if you take the, the trumpet player out and put a trombone in? Still jazz. What happened if you take the trombone player or the guitar player out and put a sax player? Still jazz. But what if we take the drummer out and put a DJ in there? Would it still be jazz? We got the jacuzzi, breeze, Polynesian ocean, chandeliers hanging from a convertible, coasting, more wet can be the most in for the So to me, my instrument is the turntable, you know? Um, the turntable and the MPC. Starting with the turntable, a lot of people look at, well, you don't play an instrument. And I'm like, wow, I don't? Well, it's an acoustic percussion instrument. I can make sounds on this piece. So sometimes you'll be playing a record and then you're like, oh, that sounds great. So, you know, everybody know what scratching is and mixing. You actually do get in the zone with that. And just like um, you, you see people doing improvisations or uh, making things up on the spot, impromptu performances. I'd be down here in, in, in the actual um, lab and I spent hours down here just coming up with sounds, mixing routines, things of that nature. Um, being able to scratch is a whole nother ball game. A lot of people just play records, like I said, we play with the records. So being able to, you know, find a, 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 a break beat or a bass drum sound, zoom, and then come back, you know, zoom, zoom, boom, 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 boom. You can make a beat like that, boom, boom, cat, boom, 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 cat. Like I could play drums on a turntable. I tend to just buy a lot of jazz records from 59 to 79. I don't go anything over that. And if the person look real cool on the album cover, I'm getting it. And then get home, can't wait to get home, salivating, driving in the car. Man, this is our new sounds. Like to you, they're records. To me, it's a sound. It's like getting a new drum head for a drummer. I'm getting a new piece of vinyl. You put it on and it becomes a whole nother instrument. As long as I don't know, what's up with you? Ace, he can take any sound and just build off of it. We can start off as uh, he's doing a beat, just a regular old beat, but then he adds in another sound from, uh, from one record or he adds in a sound from uh, another record and now that gives him like a, a, a bigger kit. It's like having a, 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 you have a drum set and you have your set, but with, the, with, the, with Ace and his drum kit, he can build any type of set. He can build a whole new set. And uh, so he can start off with one sound, but then kind of put, uh, okay, I want the vocals from this end, and now I'm making a beat from this record's vocals. And it's just saying like, what, 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 what now? And then he's just building it. And it's just, it's actually, a, it's amazing to see that, that the new type, the old school, the instrument of, of turntables and things and drum kits being, being played this way. I don't know, I think it's like, I think it's the, the learning experience of just doing something different like this, you know, it's uh, I learned how to scratch a little bit. I actually seen him uh, make a beat from scratch, you know, it's a song in there where he's actually like, you know, you hear the scratch there and it's live, so. The experience of it all, you know, is, is just pretty awesome and like just people, they ain't gonna know what to expect at the actual show. So it's, it's just gonna be all out awesome from, from the making of the album to actually performing it. It's just gonna be great. So what we do is we normally have a collective. We have Wes Jacobs, man. He plays keyboard live and saxophone live. I have my man um, Blue. Blue will be playing guitar and doing some vocals as well. And I have a guy named Aerospace that does percussion. And it's all impromptu. And it ends up, it starts with me as a DJ in an old school MPC drum machine, okay? When I mean old school MPC drum machine, I do mean an old school MPC drum machine. So I'm going from records back to back, showing jazz's influence on hip hop, but at the same time, have a live instrumentation. And we go from a record to live, something what's playing on keys, uh, Blue actually playing a guitar or um, aerospace actually doing some percussion and stuff and um, um, Of course, I do some poetry over it and stuff. It's like some people play records, right? We play with records And, 
and and if, if if it took me to grow up listening to Kiss, now dead serious, grew up listening to Kiss, then hip hop comes out, and then I end up looking at hip hop for the most of my life, and then you wake up and hear jazz influences all through hip hop, and then now at 46, you inspired, inspired to do something with all those influences and all these records you've collected. And now the evolution of it is, okay, a person like me can take what instrument that I like, which is a turntable, and create sounds and music based on my interpretation of what jazz is, and then have the people respond to it by coming to a show or buying an album. Man, I say jazz is live and kicking, man. Jazz is live and kicking, man. And I'm glad to be a part of it here in Akron. Thank you again for tuning into Around Akron with Blue Green. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or you'd like to see something on the show, you can connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or you can watch past episodes or send me a message on www.aroundakronwithbluegreen.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Around Akron with Blue Green.